Good evening, good evening. I should close the door. The reverb will slightly decrease the sound quality. There we go. So the excuse I always have for keeping my room a mess. It absorbs excess reverb from the microphone. Also, according to this, I just started streaming Cry of Fear, which I beg to differ. Should have probably updated that first. Never mind. Some of you may have noticed we have a new emote, which will no doubt cause a lot of you to spam it. Ugh. Let's get to it. For some, you're going to see a frame rate count. Well, you might see a frame rate count at the top. I, I, let me see if I can just disable that. It would probably crash the client if I try to do that straight away. Let's see if I can just get video FPS off. There we go. That should do it, right? There we go. Cool. Excellent. I didn't want to show you that necessarily. That was it. A giant, that would be a giant waste of your time, and also a, a large green number on the screen is not that pleasant. Let's double check with. Okay, hang on. Hang, no! Hang on! Ah, oh, bollocks. It is not pulling data from StarCraft 2 right now. At all. <laughs> I have a feeling I know why that is. Damn it, I'm going to bail for my first game. That is unfortunate, but never mind. Yep. That happened. My apologies. DX Tori was interfering with Game Source. So that didn't go well. I also ju just updated my X Split, so it's supposed to be a lot better, but who the hell knows if that'll be the case? We'll see. Alright, there we go. And it, God damn it. I keep forgetting, uh, since the new patch for some reason, whenever I alt tab out of the game while it's loading, it crashes it, which is really strange. So, yeah, that's not, that's not much fun. Could have done without that. I certainly hope X Split is not going to be giving you epilepsy time tonight. It would be very unpleasant if it did. I say I've, I've actually been using a version that's like a year old up until yesterday, and I've updated it now significantly, so. I actually had to be using an old version for a while because of some of the high-tier VIP beta stuff that I was running. But since then, they've integrated that into 1.3, so this is supposed to be way more reliable. There we go. Now it works. Good. Let's see if we can get out of silver. That would be nice. We've actually been winning a decent number of games up to this point. Can't remember how many, how many wins have I got. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if I can check out my stats. Nine wins, four losses. Hey, hey, this is nice. It's actually showing losses again. It didn't used to do that, and it was really annoying. I like to be able to see my losses. Nine for four, and I think three of those, in fact, four of those were when I was cheesing. So, all right. What the hell is this thing? Heavy Rain LE? I have no idea what this map is. I've never played it before. All right. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I like the tile set, at least. That looks kind of pretty. A little bit shiny. It's not too bad. I'm gonna play against the Zerg. Okay. What's the ramp looking like? Pretty standard. Pretty wide on the natural. Alright. No higher ground natural. Where would I take my third? Here, I guess. This is a fairly tank friendly map, I think. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Might be useful information. There we go. That's what we'd like. Ellie is ladder edition. That's what it stands for, generally speaking. And TE is tournament edition. TE, by the way, sometimes means absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it's just like they just add TE for no apparent reason, even though it never gets used in tournaments. There's also like there's also SE, which is usually second edition, I believe. Not enough. Not enough. 
Am I ever going to play Pendulum Tarantula while streaming? Well, here's the thing. I like not getting sued. Not getting sued is really good. Which is why I only play music I have permission for. Now, a lot of other people get away with playing licensed music, but they also don't have a, a channel that has one and a half million subscribers. So, it's probably not a good idea for me to do that. Plus, frankly, I prefer listening to this VGM. It's nice. I have so much video game music, I haven't listened to all of it at all. Oh, he's got in. What a little bastard. I'm half tempted to try and do something about that, but you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. It's fine. He's trapped in the base now, and the Reaper will kill it. So, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do that. He can scout as much as he damn well pleases. Of course, he might steal gas, but nothing too concerning. All right, so we're going to pretty standard for the most part here. Again, if the games end up being too easy, for whatever reason, we'll cheese. But for the time being, I just want to play standard. I don't know what at what point I'll hit the MMR that I'm supposed to be at. So cheesing kind of screws with that. All right, so let's kill that with the Reaper. There we go. We'll slap the factory down. It's out of range so he doesn't see it. And then we'll go scout. And I was actually meaning to go reactor before the factory. This is actually not the build that I'm used to doing, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. What this probably means is we will go for earlier Hellions and we'll go for Hellion Expand instead of the usual Ron one racks reactor expand that I do. So we'll see how that goes. Let's scout see who he's got. Okay, four lings. A natural, which is just built. That's a bit of a late natural, isn't it? Why is that natural so late? I'll double check that he's not sneaked some tech behind this in some way. Let's get that over there. We're late on our expansion, which is disgraceful. Oh, it's just late. Okay, look. And he hasn't taken one there either. That's weird. That seems a bit late to me. Maybe my timings are just off, but I thought that should have been done by now. I was just suspicious that he might do something. All right, well. Ah. Stupid. Dumb mistake. I'm going to check that he hasn't got a ninja expansion somewhere. And then I'll go back and check the base again and see what kind of tech he's going for. Throw down a tech lab of our own. There we go. A supply depot, two more racks on top of this, and a starport. Keep building some more Hellions. There we go. I think two out of the ordinary here. Get the Hellions out of the way so he doesn't see him. I see no reason to give away that information. If we don't have to. Reaper will clean that up quite nicely. No, we're not going to let you kill that. Absolutely not. Alright, so I get that out of the way. Let's get Stim going. We can build a medevac. Got a, a decent number of these. So we can head out with that. We'll send the Reaper in with him, I think. There we go. Okay, upgrade's done here, so we can expand. We should get a couple of bunkers down here as well. Build more stuff in general. More gas. Third base, we might be able to deny it, actually. That would be pretty cool. Can we do enough DPS? I don't think we can, not with four Hellions and a Reaper. I have to be careful for us around. We're quite close to creep. I'm going to move into a better position so that if they come around the side, they can't get a full surround. Medivac's on the way. And we're actually going to force a cancel on this thing. Oh, no cancel. That's, that's really bad for him. Okay. Why did he not defend that? Hey, if we can get a queen out of this as well, that would be kind of amazing. Build more units in the meantime. Make sure I get a reactor on this. There we go. I can't believe he's letting me take all this stuff. That's incredible. All right, time to just back off and go for a drop, I think. 
I'm going to go right into the main mineral line. Oh, yeah. I also learned how to do that, which is kind of neat. Okay, cool. In the meantime, we have been building some units. Not as many as I would like. I've been kind of ramming the wrong keys for the most part. Also, these guys have not been mining, which is kind of embarrassing. All right, we could potentially expect a counterattack, so we better be a little bit careful. Maybe put some supply depots down at the front here to help. So we did some damage, definitely. A couple of Hellions out here as well. I can, I've reseeded the creep a little bit. We can do some... A bit of damage here. He's a bit scared of these Hellions, actually. And if we Widow Mine... Oh, this is going to be cool. Oh, almost had him with the Widow Mine. Let's deny that hatchery. There we go. Let's re put the Widow Mine there, too. That's going to force a detector out of him. Floating way too many minerals. But Oh, wow. We're doing really well here. I can't wait to see what Zerg bullshit he pulls that will stop that from happening. Okay, well, the next thing we need to do is stop building Hellions. Just go pure Marine Marauder Medivac. Complete the wall off down here. Get this Medivac back to where it was. So that third base is denied by the Widow Mine, which is kind of great. Put a few of these in. Okay, next possibility is he might end up going for Mutalisk, so I better get ready for that. Get some more gas. There we go. These what have you been doing all this time? Jesus. Useless. Look at them. Sitting around doing nothing. Unbelievable. I have the laziest SCVs in existence. We can add some more racks on, like three more. Alright, finally he cleans that up and takes his third. He's also got an overlord there. I'd like to kill that if possible. Let's unload all of our marines and see if we can surprise him. Add those in there. There we go. Ah, didn't do it right. He's going to be able to... Well, I don't know. Just going to get rid of his overlord. I'd rather not have that information. There we go. It's fine. I'm decently far ahead. Okay. Combat shield just finished, so I think it's time to drop. This SCV is having a rave party down here. Let's just make sure we get a, a couple of these up. Dissuade any possibility of that. I think we're just gonna... Well, let's find out what he's got. Not much. Macro hatch is coming up. Okay. So, we'll go for a big drop. See what he can do against that. Three medivacs worth. In the meantime, we will add more reactors. Rebuild this. Maybe get a couple of widow mines at the front just for defense. Supply Depot situation is looking pretty good. We can work on plus one, plus one. We can throw down the armory as well. I think we can just get them on two bases here, but we'll look to try and expand to a third just in case. We'll see what damage we can do with this three drop. We might be able to kill... Hmm. Attacking this with two spines doesn't make any sense, but if he's taken the third base, we might be able to jump between the third and the main. So that might work. Activate the mine. Okay, has he taken the third base? He has. Okay, we're going to drop on the top here and do as much damage as we can. Which is going to be a decent amount, I think. There we go. So we've split up and we have the potential to make a, a right mess of this for him. So we'll attack here and then we'll drop here. And we'll pick this off. Sweet. And then we'll pick up again. There we go. All right, that's cool. And there's a queen there. So we can drop that down. There we go. So that's that queen dead as well. It's pretty bad for him. All right, let's move into his natural. We're reinforcing on the main as well. Sort that out. Okay, he has another base there. All right, let's see if we can marauder bomb. The Banelings, yes, successful. Very nice. Let's do another one. Okay, didn't fall for it this time. All right. Okay, fine. We'll boost into the National if you're going to be like that, and we'll pick off his Spire. 
I've got a decent amount of units here, so. Pick up. Okay, hot pick up and get out. Okay, that's fine. We've done decent amounts of damage and we're about to be maxed and he isn't, so. I'm totally fine with that. We're going to build a third. There we go, and we need an armory. If he has a spire, he doesn't have much of one. Rebuild the army, and then go for a push. This creep spread is actually quite impressive, considering I denied it early on. I'll give him credit for that. I, I had learned to do the whole drop while moving thing, but apparently not anymore. Alright. Okay, get the army together. It's a pretty big, scary army. So we're going to work on pushing his creep back. Get a couple more medivacs in there. We've got a decent amount of missile turrets. I think that they should do the job defending the base until we get back. Armory's about to be up, so we'll work on 2-2. Two, two. Let's see if we can... Jeez, this creep spread is really good. That's actually quite impressive. Scarily impressive, really. That someone could have that good creep spread at this level. That actually terrifies me. I have a feeling I might lose this game as a result. It's like, hmm, you shouldn't be good this good at creep spread. What's your secret? Collapse that right here. Push his creep back. Send a couple of Hellions forward just to make sure he's not sneaking any Banelings or anything in there. He most assuredly is. Let's target down some Banelings. Alright, split, 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 split. The splits are good! Mostly. The splits are okay! They're reasonable and would do the job. Okay, Mutalisks. I got Marines. I'm okay with that. You can lose all your Mutalisks. There you go. That was an alright split, if I do say so myself, actually. Probably should have, you know, followed it up with something, but I think the pre split was pretty good. Kill all the lings, rally across the map, and that creep spread will not help you unless you suddenly have ultralisks, in which case I'll be very sad. Push that creep back. Oh, hello. Let's get those banelings before they hatch. Oh, they hatched! Not quick enough on the pickup. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, okay. Right, time to pull back. He's got actually a lot of bases, so he can recover from what I just did to him, which scares me. All right, front base, third base. Whoa, we have mined the hell out of this place, haven't we? Good lord, I wonder my, my income had just fallen to pieces. All right. We have definitely mined excessively here. Income is not looking as good as I thought it was, so... All right, well, he's definitely not dead yet, and he's been sitting on four bases for quite some time, even though he's denied his base a lot, so. Let's continue to build marines and everything else. Tons of mules, there we go. Good, good, good. Excessive long-distance mining going on. His muter count has gone back up as well. Huh. I... Really... I really think that he is doing better than I initially suspected. I'm up to 2-2 two, two now, which is good. My gas count's good as well, so I can go for 3-3. Three, three. But I haven't actually done enough damage to him. He's still sitting on a lot of bases here. More than I thought he'd have. I'm going to take this fourth base over here, so we can spread out the remains of our units. 